Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, January 19th. I hope you guys had a great uh, long weekend here, three-day weekend. Enjoyed a little, uh, hopefully, much-needed rest yesterday. Hey, we got uh, just a couple, or actually just one economic news release scheduled for today. We got uh, not a lot this week, but uh, quite a bit of impactful ones uh, that will be coming out from uh, the CPI number coming out to some of the housing numbers from existing home sales and such to uh, manufacturing with the um, the market, uh, PMI uh, coming out, stuff like that will be coming out this week. So each day this week we'll, we'll have a few items on there. Uh, today is a, happens to be the Home Builders Index. Uh, this is the confidence level of uh, the Home Builders and kind of stayed in the um, same range. It actually got down uh, graded in December. So uh, so December's at 61. We had a forecast of going up slightly to 62, and it came in at 60. So still within range, uh, but still uh, we something something we have to keep an eye on because obviously we want to see if uh, home builders have the confidence to keep building more homes. Uh, stock market's up currently. Uh, it was actually up a lot further earlier in the morning. Uh, the Dow was actually up over 100, and now it's down to around the 50 range. Uh, the other is S&P and the... Um, NASDAQ are on teetering uh, on going back and forth between negative and positive territory, so it's real close on, on there. Uh, a lot of it uh, started out the day because there was some uh, with the slow, some data came out with the slowness in the Chinese economy. Uh, there's uh, there's reports coming out that was uh, uh, some stimulus package came out, which later in the uh, day also the People's Bank of China announced that they're going to create a 91 billion dollar stimulus, basically trying to create more liquidity. Uh, in the median terms for small mid-sized businesses. Uh, S&P, uh, there's some talk a little bit about what's constituting a uh, bear market and basically a lot of people are in agreement that the number 1867 uh, is a make or break number for a bear market. So uh, anything between 1875 to you know the 1900 range, low 1900s, basically is kind of like a survival mode for the bull market to continue. Uh, but if it starts reaching 1867 and starts going downward, they think the bull market will be basically over and it'll become a bear market at that point. So and then it'll be basically anybody, anybody's uh, uh, game at that time. Game at that time. All right, so let's take a look here at the bond market. And uh, bond market was down earlier in the morning, so a lot of people came out with worse pricing. Right now, we're at zero, so we were actually down about 12 basis points earlier this morning. Now we're at zero from where we left off on Friday, and so as the market dissipated, uh, stock market was uh, coming down on their highs. Uh, that money was coming into the bond market, and that's why the bond market rallied so far a little bit this morning. We'll kind of see where it lies, but uh, so far we're still above the 200-day moving average, which is a good sign for interest rates. So right now, interest rates are, you know, depending if the bank lender comes out with uh, pricing for the better later in the day, or uh, depends where we end up at. Uh, we could potentially get pricing a little bit better for the day, or they may just roll it over into tomorrow, see where the market comes in. All right, folks, so we're at the same or a little bit worse uh, in pricing today for interest rates. All right, have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.